been doing these long enough. I'm still not exactly sure how to get in front of this and just start it up. But here we go. Um, welcome to Wednesday. I don't think it is yet Wednesday. Um, so, uh, you know, if you caught my one last night, it was a really emotional one. Um, and here I am today for a another episode, you might say. Um, uh, just kind of going to get real right into it here. Uh, I want to talk about who inspires me. Um, what's up, Stanley? Um, and I know a lot of people would start right in with like you know people like uh, you know celebrities or you know so, you know especially people I like mean like motivational speakers and of course they do inspire me as well. Um, but what has really been inspiring me a lot lately is watching the people around me grow. Um, watching you know my son open up and become, you know, a, a young man who's able to be in touch with his emotions and talk about them and discuss them with family members and people who it's difficult to talk to those things about, um, to become, you know, a young man who's in touch with his feelings and can, you know, manage them in a way that's healthy and not bottle them up and explode on people. And we're all a work in progress, you know, so it is what it is. Um, and, uh, you know, watching, you know, Peyton grow and become, you know, a better artist day by day, watching uh, my other kid uh, just get better and better at art constantly and, um, you know, watching myself get better. I even inspire myself sometimes. I know it's a weird thing to say, but it really, you know, sometimes when I do this stuff that's really hard, I'm like, damn, man, like, I really like you. You're pretty cool. <laughs> um, you know, uh, we've got... All of our artists here really inspire me massively. Um, just to keep going, pushing through all the time, really staying on top of stuff. Um, Lacey is a huge inspiration for me as well. You know, um, she's constantly really in touch with her emotions too, and reminds me to be in touch with mine. Well, thanks for all the love there, honey. <laughs> a love bomb or like bomb or whatever you want to call that. And uh, heart. it's heart bomb. Sorry, no, oh, she corrected me there. <laughs> um, but the thing is, is that. I like I had a conversation with my son yesterday that was a really intense conversation. It was something that you know I didn't know that I needed and wanted, um, and it was probably one of you know the the days of my life that I'm gonna mark down on the calendar as having been like one of the most pivotal things that's happened to me, and that was that he came to me and really opened up, and he actually did the same with Lacey, and he like he really showed his heart, you know he. He got vulnerable, he got authentic, he talked about the ways that he trips himself up, he talked about how important it is for him to start shifting his focus and where he's going to put his attention, and this is an 18 year old, so, um, you know, and I'm not afraid to say that we, we butted heads pretty hard recently, um, but I got to watch him grow up in a way that most young men don't grow up until well into their 20s. Um, some of us into our thirties <laughs> and, um, I got to watch him do that. And I mean, obviously it's going to continuously be a process, but I got to watch him do that in a day. And, uh, you know, I was telling him how proud I was of him and how far ahead of the curve he's going to be because of that experience that he's just had getting to know who he is. And, um, man, that's just like, that's like heartwarming as fuck, you know, like I'm, sometimes I get aggressively positive on here and sometimes I'm pretty low key, but like really right now my heart's really full. Um, we got up and went to the gym today. We did some good cardio. Um, I stayed in contact with Lacey last night. You know, I, you know, if you caught my live last night, you heard me talk about how happy and how, you know, fulfilling it is to have a partner that's like walking in God with me and also like is like consistently just showing up and showing out and that's a, a powerful feeling you know um and so like last night like you know i decided that you know um through everything that i, I had experienced because i had some really lows yesterday and some really high highs that i was going to try to fucking end my day out on as high of a high like you know as, as much of an up curve as i could and so you know i had this great conversation with my son uh went got some food took him home brought some food over to Lacey's house, you know, and, um, just walked right in and I, you know, I bought some flowers for her beforehand cause I am that old softy and I was like, Hey, you know, I, I want to give you, and I had one flower for each of some of the pivotal moments that's happened in our relationship that has showed me how important this relationship is developing in my life. You know, the day that I had 
you know, I really realized I had feelings for her the day that I realized that I was really like truly like in love with both, you know, our sets of children the day that I realized that she was as well. Um, and it was just, a it was a really powerful experience yesterday. I had gotten so far in touch with my emotions and watched my son do that, that I realized that I had a lot of work to do too, you know, and I can get pretty vulnerable out here. I can really talk about some stuff, but, um, I mean, he's my kid. So of course he used a whole bunch of metaphors and similes, but he compared it to like being a pop bottle that you shake up. And if you rattle it up enough, often enough, it'll eventually explode. And he's not wrong. And it's, it's, it's really important. And so I want to invite all of you to inspire yourselves, man. Inspire the people around you. Be inspired by the people around you. Um, the celebrities that are doing cool shit, the people that are rich and flossing out on Instagram, like, yeah, sure, fucking Will Smith's cool, Beyonce, Jay-Z, fucking Conor McGregor, all those people, whatever. They're like, they're, you know, fucking celebrities or whatever, Elon Musk. But the day-to-day -day people that live your life should be the ones that inspire you the most. Um, those are the people that are going to affect you. Those are the people that you spend your time around. And if the people that you're spending your time around aren't inspiring you, I'm going to invite you to change the group of people you, you hang around. And there's yet another thing that my son talked about yesterday that really blew my mind. He said, you know, I need to distance myself from a lot of my friends. In fact, most of them. There's only one that I really think I want to talk to a lot and hang out with a lot. And um, I was like, damn, like that's, that's heavy. You know, like for somebody who's 18 to recognize that the influence that people around them are having on them is powerfully to the negative. Again, man, it's way ahead of the curve. And I just considered myself like I was like, I didn't even look at it like I inspired this stuff from him. I looked at it like he's just taken like a duck to water. He sees how it works for me to be authentic about my feelings and like I want that. And I don't think there's any other better way to put it, but like it's about attraction, not promotion. Um, it's about having a life, a lifestyle and a way of life that's so attractive to the people around you because of how you live it. When I say attractive, I mean meaningful, I mean truthful, honest, authentic, that people around you want to have a part of that. And that means that when you see people that are truthful and authentic to themselves, you need to keep them motherfuckers close to you, real close. And I'm super low key on this emotional thing because I'm just feeling really full right now, you know, and I just want to encourage all of you here to choose to be inspired by the people that are close to you. They're closer than you think. Good example right here, man. Aaron uh, Brooks is super inspirational figure in my life. You know, I don't know if I've taken the time to tell you that my friend, but watching you chase that dream, man, it's so, so powerful, dude. Like you just do it unapologetically. And the wild thing about it is that if we apply authenticity to any part of our life, we're unfucking stoppable. It, it is literally the cheat code to winning is authenticity and an unwillingness to quit. <laughs> All right. Love y'all. Have a good day. And we'll talk to you tomorrow.